This is the current state of the Ukrainian cathedral in Odessa. Rubble, collapsed ceilings and damaged works of art. More than 200 years of history have been partially left in ashes after the Russian missile attack on this port city on July 23rd. After hearing the news, the Italian government offered to rebuild the Transfiguration Cathedral. This was confirmed by Italy's foreign minister. Two months later, a delegation from the country traveled to Odessa to carry out the first inspection of the state of this Orthodox temple and to establish the steps to be taken in the reconstruction project. We have made the first inspection. Very soon, a workshop will start on the restoration of the cathedral that was hit by a Russian missile on July 23rd. The missile broke through the foundations of this admirable building, which is not only a symbol of the Orthodox faith in Odessa, it is a symbol of the very image of this European city. But the aid is not limited to the cathedral. After the reconstruction of the temple and with the help of UNESCO, they also plan to restore 52 other buildings in the city damaged by the consequences of the war. We are now developing the idea of also contributing to the reconstruction and transformation of the entire city of Odessa, bringing together our best expertise both at the cultural and architectural level, but also at the level of the business system. Therefore, today we begin a path that we will try to make as concrete as possible. The Italian mission in Ukraine highlights the important historical ties between the two countries. Let what we are seeing here become the symbolic image not only of a great wound inflicted on Odessa and Ukraine, but as the symbol of a path of common reconstruction that reframes the identity of Italy, Ukraine and all of Europe. The Transfiguration Cathedral is the largest cathedral in Odessa. It was built in 1795. Thanks to its bell tower, it once served as a lighthouse for ships arriving in the city.